uh, very much. You know, it's, it's always daunting when you find out that the group you're speaking to um, has heard this pitch before. It's even worse when you find out that there's someone in the room who knows more about your organization than you do. Um, and I'm not gonna call her out, but she did promise not to correct any of my uh, facts uh, in front of this group, and I appreciate that. Um, this is a picture of the original uh, Charleston Orphan House. Hey, Dan, you can pull the mic out if you like. I tend to wander. I'm sorry. No, you can pull that one out. Oh, um, we are the descendant organization of the Charleston Orphan House. Charleston Orphan House was founded in 1790, so we're in our 232nd year of continuous operation. Um, the Orphan House was the very first municipally supported orphanage in America. And, and that's, a, that's a big deal. Uh, there were other orphanages in America going all the way back to the 1720s, but almost all orphanages were supported by faith communities, uh, most notably the Church of England. Well, the Revolutionary War put an end to most of that support, um, and there was no orphanage uh, in the Low Country coming out of the Re Revolutionary War. The citizens of Charleston um, came together and petitioned the city to create an orphanage for the uh, children in Charleston um, and, and raised the money to build this uh, beautiful building, which was located on what is now Broad Street and St. Phillips. Uh, at the time it was built, it was called Boundary Street. Um, that building, uh, when it was built, was the largest building in all of South Carolina. Uh, and for a very brief period of time, was the largest residential building in all of America. Um, it was built to house approximately 120 kids. 